it's another late night in the garage. I'm gonna change out the front brakes today. The front ones in this car are starting to get a little squeaky. So, and they're pretty old, so I'm gonna change them out. Let's get to it. The breaker bar starting to break. I'm gonna throw on some gloves before I get some plastic in my hands. Is this a spider's nest? Just got the car jacked up and I'm gonna leave the, the floor jack here because I guess you can never be too safe. left the hubcap over there and then I'm gonna leave the tire right here I always like to leave the lugs in there so I don't lose it I guess this tire I always like to use the tire as a seat so it's easier to work on the car now we have access to to the, the actual caliper now there'll be two bolts back here one right there and one down here and that should let us remove this part of the caliper. This probably feels like a 12. Damn. Too small. The caliper bolt at the bottom will be a 14 millimeter. Let's break it. Damn, this thing's tough. There we go. She's a bit rusty. Got the caliper bolt out, and I think the top will just swivel. So let's try to take it off. There we go. That's pretty nice. It's spring loaded up here, so it can stay out of the way. Now we have the access to the pads. Oh, she's in there. Gross. They're getting thin. Here's the back ones, even thinner. Pretty darn bad. I'm gonna get the new brakes. These just came in today, I went to pick them up. Here is a set, hella thick. Look at that, here's the, the older ones. Get a good look. Look how thick the new ones are. Now could be side by side. All right, let's throw these in. The one with the this metal thing is always the ones that go on the inside, facing inward, away from the outside of the car. <coughs> Ugh. These metal springs make it tough. There she goes. Got the rear ones in, or the inside ones in. Now I'm gonna throw in the fronts. Actually, you know what? We need to use a C-clamp. Now, changing the rear brakes is a different story. When I changed the rear ones, when I changed the rear ones, I couldn't just simply clamp it down with the with the C clamp. I had to rent a special tool from my local auto shop. And compared to these ones, they had like a cross in the middle. You had to twist it to compress the caliper instead of just squeeze it down with the regular C clamp. So changing the rear brakes, keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna compress the, the caliper with my big ass C clamp. Six inches, baby. You know, I should probably remove this sticker first. Silly me. There we go. You want to compress it all the way down where it's flush. So you make as much room as you can for the new pads. Oh, she goes. Going down. Alright. Got her compressed all the way down, and I forgot to throw in my brake pads. These little grooves, they line up with those ones right there. And then slide her in. All right, there we go, just like that. Once you got the pads in, you just put everything back how it went. Now we throw our wheel back on. Eww, hella nasty. I brought gloves out here, I don't know why I didn't use them. Now my hands are all dirty.
Remember kids, no glove, no love. Damn, she's so low. Ooh, I need haircut. But that's it. It went pretty easy. And I'm gonna get to the other side and I will get back to you when I'm done with that. Just got finished throwing in the pads, but before we can call it a day, there's one more thing we gotta do. We gotta pump up the brakes, make sure everything is tight and secure, because you don't wanna have like compressed brakes and drive on the road and compress them then. So let's get to pumping. First, it'll feel like dead space all the way through. You just do it a couple times and then your brakes will come back to life. Just like new. Oh yeah, baby. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Maybe you learned something new or let me know if I did something wrong. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna go shower and do some homework. I'll catch y'all later. God, these sides are even thinner. That, that is not cool, man. Look at it, it's like flush with that metal thing. That's what scrapes and makes a squeaky sound. Garbage! Super thick. Mmm.